and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Oh, she's doing well, isn't she? Carol Chagorin? She must be well over 90 now. <laughs> Still popping in for a bit. That'll be down to her magic potions, but she brews up an elixir of youth every week. Oh, Christy food. <laughs> you didn't ask her to record a video? I didn't think she'd want to. How are they going? Oh, really good. Ah. Brian did one for me yesterday. Oh, yeah? He was in with that uh, Miranda Elliot... That's the second time they've been seen in the village together. Oh, yeah. Alice said they've been sort of dating. <laughs> oh, no, sort of about it. They were very much an item at the egg races on Easter Sunday. Oh, were they? You mean, I don't know. You never notice anything. We're talking of videos, have you seen Bartleby's latest? Oh, George goes on about them, but I haven't really been following them. Well, he's trying something new now. Take a look sometime. Oh, he's always sending me links for them. Here we are. <clears throat> the view from my paddock. Play it. What now? Well, the shop's empty. Oh, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bartleby's Paddock. His voice is When that. you're an old pony like me, nobody pays you much attention. It's Eddie. So no. over the years, I've seen some things I can tell you. <laughs> uh, for example, just by our village green, there's a garden infested with gnomes. Does he mean the flesh? The just husband wait, wait. there's a crusty old cove. Oh. Not a popular type. If you get my drift. It's a bit naughty about But doing. according True, to though. the rumours, this gentleman once had a very saucy liaison <gasps> with a married lady. Oh, my goodness. By all accounts, <laughs> these two pillars of the community were shaking the place to the foundations. <gasps> oh. What the gnomes must have thought, we can only imagine. Because, unlike this old pony, gnomes keep their opinions... <sighs> To themselves. Hmm. Afternoon. Oh, um, hello, Harrison. Oh, you're right, mate. Hey, mate. So, what do you think? It's so cheeky. <laughs> Good though. Well, it's certainly amusing. I'll give him that. I think George might be onto something. Adding that voice. Yeah. If Gene Harvey doesn't sue him for slander. Ah, not slander. It's on a video, so that'll be libel. You've seen it. Derek Fletcher's just collared me. I've been mad. But uh, like I told him, if it's true, then it isn't libel or slander. Well, it is true, isn't it? Not that it's a police matter, anyway. Oh, have you got any soy sauce, Susan? No, um, I'll buy the noodles. Ah, thanks. Uh, Mum. Yes? What I actually came in for, you know I won that night at Grey Gables. Oh, have you booked it yet? Uh, no, and I don't really want to. Why on earth not? Most people would leap at the chance to stay in a luxury hotel free of charge. Oh, yeah, I know. If I had a partner. But uh, the thought of me just rattling around in a double room... Oh, take Martha with you. I did think about that, but she's too young to appreciate it. And I'd be on tenterhooks the whole time in case she disturbed the other guests or broke something. Oh, or... yeah, I'll take your point. No, an adult couple should have it. So, I thought, how about you and Dad? Us? Why not? Oh, that's very kind of you, Christopher, but with my 60th, we've had a lot of treats recently. If you're dead set on passing it on... I am. What about our Emma? She and Ed work so hard and they never seem to get a break. Oh, oh yeah, all right. I'm sure they'd love it. Well, Ed wants to talk to me about Kira visiting Champion. I'll mention it to him then. How's Champion doing? Yeah, really good. Started to talk, yeah? No. <laughs> I think one talking pony in Ambridge is quite enough, don't you? And how's Martha getting on with him now? Well, slow but steady. She'll stroke him and feed him. But if we suggest she might like to sit on his back, not even actually ride him, 
We're back to I don't like horsey. Oh. Maybe she'll be more keen when she's a bit older. Oh, it sounds like it's going in the right direction. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, there you go, Susan. Thank you. Uh, Harrison. Yes, Cocker. Have you got the rest of the day off? I have. Just finished my shift. Oh, I've been wanting to buy you a drink. What for? Are you hearing? Keeping your job's got to deserve a celebration. Well, it's more of a relief than a celebration. But if you're offering, I won't turn down a pint. I know money ain't the most imaginative present. Always the best, though, Grandpa. What are you going to get with it, do you think? Uh, clothes, probably. And uh, one of them hard screen covers from my phone. Oh, grand. Oh, it's nice to celebrate yours and Kira's birthday together. Yeah. Afternoon, Bartleby. How you doing, Boyd? I reckon he's looking better already. Yeah, I think you might be right, George. This new diet of Jacob's must be working. And the medication. Ooh, it's costing a fair bit, man. I know, but if we can start to monetize my channel, hopefully we can cover that and make a bit more on top. Uh, speaking of which, you ready to record it now? Well, that's uh, why we're here, ain't it? <laughs> right, I'll just get set up. Uh, do you want me in the same place? Uh, yeah, close to Bartleby, so it sounds like that's where the voice is coming from. But not so close that I'm in the shot, I remember. Uh, here. Perfect. <coughs> and action. Well, welcome again to my paddock. The other day, I was chatting to my llama friend Wolfgang, and he asked me, how do you know so much about this place, Bartleby? And I said, I make sure to pop into the village shop a few times a week, because there's someone there who knows every little thing that's going on, and she isn't slow to share her knowledge. Two, still being a copper then. Oh, thanks. And a good one. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, of course. Everyone thinks so, Harrison. Copper on a final warning, mind. It's the first and last time I want to go through anything like that. I know what you did weren't strictly by the book. Understatement, Chris. But you might have saved Alice and Martha's lives. You did it for the right reasons. Oh, luckily, that's the way the board saw it. I'll still be needing to keep me nose super clean for the next two years. Fair enough, Harrison. Any roll up, let's talk about more important things. Such as? Cricket. <laughs> Final nets this Wednesday before the big opening match. Darrington have already started the trash talk. Have you seen their website? I, I rise above such things. It's what happens on the pitch that counts. True enough. I'll tell you one thing that's uh, bothering me, though. Go on. It's um, Grundy, G and Riley H. Oh. Talk about a beef. Well, they don't do much to hide it, do they? To be fair to Hannah, I, I don't think she starts anything, but she can't help rising to George and retaliating when he undermines her. Mm. It has been cast in a bit of a shadow over practices. What do you think I should do? I mean, bang their heads together, <laughs> or take them individually to one side and give them a rocket. Would that help, do you think? I've got to try some. A couple of players are starting to moan about it. Is there a way to get them to cooperate? Start working more as a team? How, though? I don't know, really. If I think of anything, I'll give you a shout. <laughs> oh, how did your staycation go in the end? Mm. Brilliant. Once we finally got rid of Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Didn't he realise he was interrupting a romantic weekend? No, oh. and you know what a sweet he is. <laughs> we didn't like to just chuck him out. Fallon even poured him a cocktail. <laughs> It's nice of her to make the effort. Oh, she's a star. I envy you. That strong relationship you've got. I'd be lost without her. I'm sure it's mutual. And do I hear Brian Aldridge is back on the dating scene? So it seems. <laughs> proves it's never too late. Uh, proves something. <laughs> Isn't it about time you started putting yourself out there? Me? No. If Brian can at the age of 170. <laughs> it wouldn't work. What with Martha? And... Why not? There's work and stuff and... Well, what do you mean? You're a farrier, lusted after by horsey ladies wherever you go. You're a catch, Chris May. Uh, look, please keep this to yourself. Of course. The trouble is, I'm still in love with Alice. Well, I did wonder. I don't want to be. I've really tried not to be. But I can't help it. Harry coming on the scene... I I tried to be grown up about it, but it almost tore me apart. You're not on the scene anymore. Thankfully. And, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure Alice still has a place in her heart for you. We'll always be friends. 
But if you'd really like it to be more than that, wouldn't it be worth talking to her? I can't. Why not? The arrangement we've got, it works really well. I can't risk spoiling it, for Martha's sake. Seems a shame, though. No, I've just got to suck it up. These videos with Bartleby talking are doing way better than anything I posted before. <laughs> Brilliant, George. Oh, big times are on their way, Grandpa. I can feel it. Good news all round for the Grundies this week. Your dad's money coming through for the tree surgery business. Yeah. Edward was saying he and your mum can start buying the equipment now. Have you seen the list the uh, training company sent? No. Got all sorts on it. Chainsaws, I expect. Oh, and protective clothing and no end of weird and wonderful climbing gear. Nana. Will said you were up here. What's up? Your videos. What about them? I was just about to show Jim the one about Derek Fletcher when I discovered there was a new one. Yeah, we posted it this afternoon. And it's very clearly about me. Uh, not necessarily, Susan. <laughs> what do you two think you're playing at? Hey, up. Oh. There that goes. Thank oh. you, Harrison. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I have been thinking, mm. do you want my Grey Gables stay, you and Fallon? What? Oh, man. Well, I thought you were going to give that to Ed. Oh, I was, but as soon as the words Grey Gables were out of my mouth, he started going off on one. Oh. No offence to Oliver, but the place is really up itself now. Blah, 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 blah. Probably blah. is a bit. Emma's still narked that she didn't get that job there. They've just turned Will down for gardening work. Mm. Ed really had it in for the hotel, so I thought best not. OK. So, if you want it, it's yours. Well, may. I mean, if you're sure. 100%. Oh, Fallon would love her neither, and I was going to wreck you the place for our annual work ball anyway. Oh, well, there you go then. Oh, mate, thank you. Hmm. Like, after last week, it's, it's just the treat we needed. You didn't have a problem with the Derek Fletcher one? Not if you were going to show it to Jim Lloyd. But that's not the point. What sauce for the goose? And we never said specifically it were about you, Nana. Oh, there's a lot of women work in that shop. All the volunteers? But that won't stop people thinking it's about me. You'll have to delete it. Sorry, no, we can't do that. This is my income you're tampering with. How else are we going to pay for Bartleby's medication? Then there's the question of censorship and free speech, mm. isn't there, Grandpa? Yeah, it's a minefield. Oh, never mind all that. You know very well what you've done. So, if that video is staying up, I want recompense. You can edit together all my shop testimonials, George. What? Mm. Seems a fair exchange. Grandpa! With backing music and captions and everything. No, no, I ain't got time. All up on the website. And I want a proper professional job. I, I do the spot effects on the arches. I just, uh, yeah, I need Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay. And and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep. That's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep. That's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever.